to what the strongest boss in Prodigy is. What's going on everyone? One Doctor Genius here. Right guys, so without further ado, let's hop straight into our video. And I'm your host, One Doctor Genius. Alright guys, so quick question, out of all of these bosses, which boss do you think the strongest is? Right, you guys may think the Crystal Golem or some other boss like that. Well, nope. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys why my Shade is undisputedly the strongest boss in the entire game. Right guys? Alright guys, the first thing you might be wondering is, what is my Shade? And why is my Shade? Well, I don't have an answer for the second one, but I do have an answer for the first one. What is Myra Shade? Myra Shade is basically the owner or creator of the Dark Tower. Now, if you guys don't know, I have defeated the Dark Tower like one time in Prodigy. Like, you can only do it once, but I defeated the Dark Tower one time in Prodigy. And over here we have Myra Shade. At first, Myra Shade makes the impression that she's the guardian of the Dark Tower. But when you climb through the floors, you guys can tell it's pretty obvious that she is the actual creator of the Dark Tower. Now, a thing which you may or may not know is that Myra Shade is able to cast every single spell in the game, right guys? Every single spell. Alright guys, now you may be wondering what makes Myra Shade so special that she outbeats the Crystal Golem. Well, here's the thing, you know how the Crystal Golem can change its spells but it has to shut down? Well, Myra Shade can cast every single spell in the game at the ready, right? Myra Shade can cast Astral, Shadow... Alright guys, so one thing is, even in order to get to the final boss battle to Myra Shade, what you guys have to do is you guys have to battle hundreds of pets before them, right? Myra Shade is like one of the only bosses in the game to have actual pets and a mini boss, right? You guys know at floor 50, Myra Shade has captured the Gandalf, right? That is the mini dragon which you guys have to fight at floor 50. Right guys, so first of all, Myra Shade is the only boss who actually has pets caught in the game, which already gives her an advantage because she has over a hundred pets. And not only that, on certain floors, you guys even have to battle wizards, meaning Myra Shade has hired some wizards in the Dark Tower as well. Right, so in order to even get to the Myra Shade battle, you guys will have to do more effort than you will have to do in all other zones of the game. And if you ask me, that's pretty crazy, because you already have to defeat over 100 monsters just to get there, right? Well, if you're going after the Crystal Golem, you may have to kill like a couple 10 or 20 monsters before getting to it. But for Myra Shade, no, you have to kill a mini boss and multiple other pets, right? That is amazing. Alright, now another thing is you guys know how our wizard can only cast like 4 spells, right? Well, Myra Shade can cast 34 spells, right? 34 spells! Right, guys, so another thing about Myra Shade is that she can cast all 5 main spells and Myra Shade can cast the spells of Earth, Ice, Electric, Fire, Water, and Dark, or Electric and Ice, right? Those, like, that's a lot. Not only that, the Shadow Spells would reach... Now, if you guys take a look at this and take a look at the Crystal Golem, the Crystal Golem cannot cast Astral Spells. So this makes Myra Shade the strongest boss in the game compared to anything, right? She's stronger than your wizard, but your wizard has like healing, so that's a thing for your wizard, if you guys ask me. Now not only that, Myra Shade can cast a spell Shadow Shock, Royal Roar, Royal Roar, Royal Roar, she can cast the first spell, she can cast the first Astral spell, which you guys can learn. She can cast Prism Blast, Falling Star Smash, and, and Falling Star Smash, and multiple other spells. Right guys, so basically Myra Shade is an academy student who left the academy and learned shadow type spells. Right, that's pretty crazy. This is the only boss in the game which can cast 5 different main type spells. Right, the Crystal Golem cannot cast Astral spells, so this already gives Myra another boost on top of that. Alright guys, not only that, but you guys also have to spend gold to climb up the Dark Tower. Right guys, if you don't have gold, you guys won't be able to make it up to... Alright guys, that's not the only thing, you also need gold to get through the Dark Tower. If you guys don't have any gold, you won't be able to climb, right guys? Now, that's not the only thing, what rewards do you get after beating Myra Shade? Well, the rewards which we get are A, the... The rewards which we get are three different rewards. We get Myra's helmet, we get her robe, and we get her wand. Now, all of these items are completely open. Now, all of these items are some of the best items in the game because they have a heart bonus of 8 and a damage bonus of 20. Now, of course, the damage bonus of 20 isn't the best, but it's still decent, right? Alright, guys, so those are the things about Myra Shade. Now, let's tell you guys about the Crystal Golem. Right, guys, so in order to battle the Crystal Golem, which is the final boss of Crystal Cabins, you guys will need to defeat three different bosses in front of it, right, guys? Now, you may be wondering, why am I saying three different bosses, even though there are four of them? Well, you guys will either have to choose between Winston Von Loot or the Glacius, right, guys? So, in this case I decided to battle Glacier. Alright guys, so that means with these three boss battles which you guys are doing, you're gaining 150 stars. Now that is the equivalent of battling 
in which case you guys are only battling three bosses, so this does give the Crystal Golem a little bit of an advantage, but here's the thing, the Crystal Golem can only cast four different spell types, it can't cast Astral spells unfortunately, so that is the only reason why it lost the crown to Myra Shade, otherwise the Crystal Golem would hold the undisputed title of the strongest boss in the game. Alright guys, now you may be thinking, well 150 battles is a lot more than what the Dark Tower has. But there's a thing which you guys forgot, the Dark Tower has wizards which you guys have to battle. So for every 5th floor of the Dark Tower, you guys have to do a 3 person monster battle. So there are 25th floors, meaning you guys get 60 stars from them, and then there are, and then there, and then there are 60 other floors. So you get 120 stars in total while climbing the Dark Tower alone. Alright guys, now when you battle Miter Shade, I think you guys get approximately 50 other stars, which is actually pretty cool. Alright guys, so all in all, it seems like that the amount of stars which you get from completing both battles, from completing Crystal Caverns and Miter Shade's game, is actually the pretty same. Although you will get a little bit more stars compared to compared to Crystal Caverns than Miter Shade's Dark Tower, because Crystal Cavern can be played all over again, so that gives it another point. But then again, you guys have to battle a lot of Crystal Monsters, so yeah. Yeah guys, so still the undisputed title of the strongest boss in the game does go to Myra Shade, and I think that second place or about as strong as Myra Shade is the Crystal Golem, right guys? Now of course the Crystal Golem is the final boss in a series of bosses, but Myra Shade is actually the pretty much the strongest, right guys? So now I believe that this is why Myra Shade is the strongest boss in the game, and if you guys have anything to dispute against that, well type in the comment section down below and give me your reasons why you think your boss is the strongest in the game. Alright guys, so that's all for this video, and I hope you guys found this interesting and were like, Hum, yes, now I know which boss should be the strongest in the game. Like, I don't know, maybe you guys think that um, Chef Shabulini is the strongest, or someone else's. Well, if you guys do, hit that, uh, well, if you guys do, comment down below, and I will be catching you all next time. One Doctor Genius out the house, bye and have a good time. Alright guys, that's all for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, and give this video a humongous thumbs up if you guys haven't already, and I will be catching you all next time. One Doctor Genius, out the house, bye and have a good time.